Hello, YouTube friend, Ben Ochard here. Thank you for tuning in. So, um, as you know, I'm a fan of uh, Sun Sun canisters. I run, um, I run a couple of them on my 60-gallon um, uh, grow-out tank, as you can see here. They've been running consistently for about three years now, almost four, uh, without making a single sound, without giving me a single problem. I also run a uh, 704B as just a redundant or backup system and uh, I've certainly heard some folks who have had difficulty with them and um, in many cases they may have gotten a defective model or in some cases it might have been a user uh, a user error but at any rate uh, for me I've had good luck with them and um, somebody made a very interesting comment to me they said just because it was a lot less expensive didn't necessarily mean it was a lot less quality. One of the reasons they're less expensive is because you could probably take the canisters made by every other company in the world and um, add, add up their annual production and it probably still would be less than what the factory produces that is producing the Sun Sun and Aqua Top and other names that it markets under. But um, that isn't what really uh, has me excited about what's happening here. The reason this video is entitled, Is Sun Sun Gonna Take Over the World? is because of a new canister that has come out that boasts over 700 gallons per hour. And you can see it here. You can pick it up for about $130. And those gallons per hour are actually adjustable with a digital uh, readout on the top of the canister that you can see here. This canister, the uh, Sun Sun 3000, is um, a lot of canister for $130. But here's the kicker. What if I told you that the biggest, one of the biggest complaints that people have with canisters is having to crack them open and clean them? Uh, let's face it, it's, it's a lot of work. But what if I told you that you only had to crack this one open once a year? Well, you'd probably immediately start thinking, well, that's going to be a nitrate factory and that's not going to work. But how about if you put this unit, this is called a 603, and you put this unit on there as a pre-filter. It now comes in a transparent case so you can actually see what's going on inside. And that unit, the pre-filter unit, you clean that out every month. You give it a quick rinse. You just snap the top off, pull the sponges out, rinse them, put them back in. And you leave the main unit, the canister, the large canister, you leave that unit alone. And once a year, you take apart the larger canister and simply rinse the biological media that's inside of it in tank water and put the large baskets back in. Now I imagine if you stuffed that um, Sun Sun 3000 with something like um, Biohome Ultimate or Pond, uh, Pond Matrix, some Seachem Pond Matrix, a high quality, highly porous, that's gonna do is it's gonna give you this large giant colony that remains undisturbed inside this canister except for being rinsed on let's say June 30th every year you crack open that large canister you rinse everything in tank water put it back together and you're good to go so what this means is a once a year canister maintenance once a month rinsing some sponges in a small pre-filter this could be a game changer for people that keep canisters and could also be an opportunity for a great colony of biologeria to uh, populate in that media and by being able to control the uh, rate of flow you might even be able to uh, get an anaerobic an anaerobic bacteria going that could help with nitrates now I know a lot of folks out there are are uh, seeking the holy grail of uh, the nitrogen cycle so that nitrates are handled by their uh, media to avoid having to do uh, water changes or as many water changes. But keep in mind, water changes do a lot more than just reduce nitrates. I've mentioned this in an earlier video. They also, re um, they also remove hormones from the water and they also 
add minerals to the water, which are important. But at any rate, I'm excited about this uh, Sun Sun combination of pre-filter and filter, and the Sun Sun 3000, I think, uh, takes, takes Sun Sun to a whole other level. Uh, make no mistake about it, I love my Fluval. My FX6 is just a beast, a battleship. But this uh, Sun Sun 3000, this is some serious competition at, uh, at just under 800 gallons per hour. So uh, share your thoughts below and uh, be sure to uh, rate, comment, and hit that sub button if you haven't already. Let me know what your thoughts are on a pre-filter and canister combination where you only have to crack that large canister once a year and rinse those sponges once a month and uh, really have a pretty low maintenance, high quality filtration system running. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in.